Sorry. So cute. Hello. I don't think you'll be able to see me very well, and I'm not sure if you'll even be able to hear me very well, but it's 10 o'clock at night. It's the middle of November, so we're like 15 days away from summer, and we have a frost alert. So, <laughs> well, a frost warning for tonight and tomorrow night. So we're outside covering all the plants which at this point in the year, you wouldn't really even have to consider that you have to do that with. But here we are. We've got to cover two rows of cosmos, two rows of sunflowers, all the dahlias, the um, lilies, and what's that other thing called? Gladiolas. And I've done my veggies. And there's some tomatoes I just can't cover. We're just going to have to hope for the best. Anyway, that's what I'm up to right now. Moroni's out in the field way out there. You can see the light in the distance. He's already thrown some covers over the gladiolas and what's another thing called? Oh, look, this is our tree that I lit up. And you can see the pretty sky tonight. It's so pretty. Anyway, sidetracked. Um, gladiolas and lilies. Okay, I'm coming out to cover up these bad boys that are sprouting all over the place. And quickest, easiest way I could think of is get it buckets. So 
let me find this one. I'm just gonna like put a bucket on its head. Hello. Hey. How'd you go? You what? I fell off. Fell off? Yeah. What do you mean? Are you alright? Oh no, you fell over, like fully fell over. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> but look how cute everything looks. Look. It's cute at least. Even if everything does die tonight. I mean, this is where all the spiders hang out. I don't really want to do this, but guess who has to do it? Me. Guess who has to do this? Oh, I wish this lawnmower wasn't in the way. Because I can't do a quick getaway if I need it. Because it's bloody in the way. Okay. I need things. I need things that there's a lot of them. Maybe that stack there. I've got these tiny ones. They definitely look a little bit spider-ish. Anyway, let's just hurry up and get out of here. I might grab... Well, I think I'm just going to have to not be scared today. Because it's me or the dahlias. Come on. Well, let's take this stack and hope the spiders don't fall on me. It is pretty... Oh! There's a spider. Oh my gosh. Come on. Oh gosh, it's going to get me. I hate this. Where did it go? Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh yeah, Marino has got it all done. The three rows. So I'll check, we'll check back in the morning, see how things went. Let you know if there was actually frost. We didn't have a frost, which is really good. But that was a lot of effort for no frost. So um, I'll turn it around. You can see out in the field, well Marino is over here somewhere. He's still got couple of rows covered I think he's just letting them really warm up they're the sunflowers and um, no actually they're not the sunflowers that's the cosmos I've just taken the little pots off the top of all the dahlias that didn't hurt them at all and I'm actually out here just cutting some flowers ready for the week so even though we really got smashed with rain and cold and f uh, no frost hail everything's fine so we are feeling very lucky and we're tossing up if we should cover everything again tonight, which probably to be on the safe side, we probably should do. Anyway, I'll be back in a bit.
just do a spin. Yak ingredients. It's so pretty. I love it. The door's so cool. How gorgeous. I just asked Jackie if she's okay with me filming it a little bit. Which is probably okay because... Oh, there's a peacock. Look. Look, that's a rooster. Well, that's not the noise of a rooster. So this is in Yakandana, just out of Yakandana. Oh, some guinea fowl. I think we're going to get some of these because they're really good at eating bugs and they also kill snakes, which is going to be very handy. And Big Marquee down here and they've got this awesome bar that's made out of a grain salt silo so I'll nick back in and I'll um, the caterers in there I'll just go in and I'll say a quick hello again in there do you see the chickens got my helper here here's the grain silo for the bar which is really cool Hello, I'm back. Jack said it was all right to just film a little bit. I have a YouTube channel. Are you okay if you're on that? You wouldn't. You wouldn't be that identifiable. Yeah, <laughs> that's fine. It looks so pretty. All right, I'm off now. <laughs> yeah, it's looking gorgeous. I love it. And the rose petals over there look so pretty too. Like on the dance floor. Pardon? Yeah, it does. Have a good day. See ya. Okay. Back in my little buzzmobile. Oh, something else very cute. Look, they're going to have a bonfire later. And there's the grain silo that's been converted into a bar. And uh, the guests will park in this paddock here. There's a little sign there just to tell people no cars pass this point. So they'll go in there. <clears throat> and the weather's looking like it's gonna be nice. <clears throat> I actually really love skies like this for photography. It's beautiful, like people's skin looks really nice in this kind of uh, weather and and especially once you pop some flash lighting on them 
with a diffuser. And here we are at the road again. It's a pretty fast road. So popping the phone down now. Hope you liked that little sneak peek. So the wedding's gonna be beautiful. I'll pop up some pictures of the bouquet. I didn't actually take professional photos of it. Um, I just didn't have time. And I'm also thinking the photographer should probably do that. And so I'll see some photos of that later. Um, anyway, back to whatever else we were doing in this video. Hello, <laughs> it's night again. I forgot to put the bins out. Well, the bin. So I'm out here and I wanted to show you something cute. Some of the little trees down the lane, I've put fairy lights on and they look so cute. But for now, I've got to walk this bin all the way out. This is my neighbor's bin, but he's got it back to front. That is so weird. They have to go this way. So I wonder why he's done that. Weird. Anyway. Don't they look so cute? <gasps> oh no. James has been. Oh, they're my camellias. James is so naughty. <sighs> we kind of can't leave him alone at all. Or he touches everything. And put I, I had all these flowers I was making batches the other day and I had them all kind of lined up in buckets I'd just finished them and he came along with tubs of dirt like that and just tipped it in on top of the bouquets so of course we had to throw them out anyway see you tomorrow